Hello everyone, in this dad wagon video today, we're gonna to be talking less about the wagon and more about the dad, but it is still car related as we're talking about car seats. Now, if you're one of these three following people, I suggest you keep listening. One, you do a lot of traveling on airplanes and you want a super lightweight and travel friendly car seat. Number two, you just want the sleekest, most compact car seat for your dad wagon. And number three, the one that's closest to me is you have a child that has either physical or cognitive disabilities and you're getting ready for an airplane trip and you want to give them the best travel experience possible and still put them in a car seat while on the airplane. If any of those describe you, keep watching because this is going to be the car seat for you. Hey everybody, my name is Victor. On this channel, I'm typically doing how-to videos and install videos specific to car parts. But today I'm gonna to be doing kind of a review and share my experience about one of the coolest products I've bought over the last couple months. And yes, it is a car seat, but I assure you, it is very, very cool. So now that you know I don't normally make videos like this, if you like it or find it helpful, make sure to hit the like button that way I know that you enjoyed it and needed it and I'll continue to make some more videos like this. Now before we jump straight to the product, let's first talk about the why, or in this case specifically, what my why was for needing this product in the first place. My wife and I were heading out for our first trip with our son who's about two and a half years old and we were gonna be heading down to Nashville for a quick weekend trip. I think one of the biggest considerations when getting ready for a trip after doing some research, at least for us and maybe most parents, is what to do about car seats. Obviously, once you get to your destination, you're probably gonna need a, at least a ride from the airport to wherever you're staying, and there's probably gonna be some other car travel on top of that. So how do you bring a car seat with you? Obviously, the simple answer is just pack up what you have and take it with you, but, for anyone who owns car seats, you know that they are not light and they are not small. Now on top of travel, once you're at your destination and using the car seat for that, you can also use your car seat on the airplane. That may sound intense or extreme, especially when considering the normal car seats that most people have. On top of that, and specific to our case, my son has muscular dystrophy and has pretty generalized muscle weakness all over. But for my son, since he loves riding in the car so much already, and given his muscle weakness, it was gonna be another point for us to be able to harness him in a seat, make that experience as similar to being in a car as possible, and also free up mom and I to be able to do the normal things we need to do, get him fed, things like that, without always constantly having to worry about him either slumping over in his seat, uh, falling out of his seat, and things like that. We always keep a close eye on him, but having that little extra mobility to be able to serve him the way we need to is really what I was looking for in an option. So knowing that we were gonna be taking one of our car seats with us, I started mocking up our travel situation. I took the Britax car seats that I have in my car out and started to consider how we would pack this and make sure that we were able to travel through the airport efficiently without much hassle. I even picked up a Britax kind of roller dolly where you strap the car seat onto it to help make it a little bit easier so you don't have to physically carry and lift the car seat everywhere. After a few days in the house of kind of testing out that configuration of the car seat and seeing how we'd lug it through the airport, it just really didn't seem like a viable option. And adding to that, I knew my wife and my son were gonna be taking kind of a solo trip together after that in a couple months. And thinking about my wife trying to carry that car seat through the airport, lift it, over the airplane seats and into the window seat, which is I believe where a child seat has to go on an airplane, just didn't seem like a good option at all. So after that, I started scouring the internet to look for different solutions that might work for us and make our travel just a little bit easier and more enjoyable for Theo. And that's when I found this, the Pico by Waby. The Pico is a super light, compact, and even foldable car seat by a company called Waby. So first of all, the Pico car seat, like I said, is super light. It weighs only eight pounds. For comparison, that is just a little bit less than a gallon of milk. And our Britax Boulevard car seat weighs 30 pounds. The seat pan on the Pico folds away so you get an ultra compact design and styling, which makes it easier to carry, easier to throw in a backpack, or easier to throw in a bag as you carry it through an airport. 
The design of this product overall is just really innovative and really slick. The frame of it is built out of an aerospace grade aluminum, which helps make the product really light. Most of the plastic and the foam has been replaced also with really light and thin metals. And then the seat pan and the back and the headrest are all made out of a kind of suspension mesh fabric that one is super easy to clean, two adds to the lightness of the product overall, and just is really aesthetically pleasing. The mesh fabric on this product is really what drew me into it in the first place. If you don't know, my day job is not making YouTube videos, but I actually work at Herman Miller, the maker of some of the best office chairs that you can buy. Herman Miller's chairs, and specifically our Aeron chair, was one of the first and most innovative to use a suspension fabric across the seat pan and the back, which aid in breathability, also in help you to be stay cooled and keep your temperature regulated over time. So seeing a similar type, not the same, but of innovation applied to a toddler's car seat kind of drew me in right away. Now on top of looking really great and being really light, this chair also hits on the first things parents really look at when considering car seats. So this chair is approved by all the agencies that need to approve it within the United States to use it on the road and in an airplane. The chair is both NHTSA approved as well as FAA approved. And finally, the chair has all the types of mounting points that you would need to use it in multiple types of vehicles. So it has the latch system that you would use with the anchor points that are in most cars nowadays. It also has the latch system that goes over the back of the seat or the anchor system to latch to the back of a seat to keep it from tipping forward. You can also use it with a lap belt like most car seats and just strip that through two of the aluminum brackets. And this is how you would use it on an airplane as well. All right, sign me up to buy this bad boy, right? Well, hang on. It is $380. And considering that my wife and I had already invested in multiple car seats already, it seemed a little extreme. But I went ahead and I purchased it anyways. I wanted to at least get it in. And I said to myself, if it doesn't fit what we need or it isn't as great as I expect it to be, I'm going to send this thing right back. Well, I still have it. So now the big question, how did it perform when we used it? Well, in short, it was amazing. I wouldn't be making this video probably if it wasn't. It was super light, super compact, super easy to carry through the airport, make stops in the airport, grab lunch at the okay, airport. The it didn't airplane. seem like a big hassle and it wasn't a consideration really of uh, how we changed anything that we were doing while we were there. There was also a little sense of schadenfreude as I saw other parents carrying around full-size car seats and looking at the misery on their faces of the weight and pain that they were lugging around with them. When it came time to board the planes, that was also very convenient and we had connecting flights. So we did this multiple times, but it was super easy to get this seat into the plane seat, get it strapped in pretty quickly. Obviously there's always that anxiety of people coming up behind you and wanting to get in their seats and everyone's kind of in a flurry. It was really, really easy. And then locking in your child to this car seat is no different than any other car seat. It's a standard five point harness and it worked really well. Theo overall really enjoyed his experience. Um, he loved the plane. He was the only one that got excited and happy when there was turbulence. And uh, it was just a really fun experience to see him on the plane for his first time. And just, uh, it was so much better that he was having a fun time doing it. As a side note, on the plane, I did kind of take a jacket that I had and stick it underneath the front of it because it does lean forward a little bit. Uh, that kind of propped it back a little bit more. That way Theo didn't have to use so much muscle to keep himself upright and not leaning forward the entire time. Once we made it to our destination airport and called for a lift, it snapped in just as you would expect it to. And I think the drivers were pretty ecstatic to see us not lugging around a full-size car seat and having to try and get that in their car. The first lift we got was like a lift premium, not because we selected it, it was just kind of by chance. So he had a nicer car. So I think he was happy to see just this nice, small, compact car seat. The lift driver, I gotta give him a shout out. He was awesome. He had like a swivel TV in the center of his vehicle and was putting on cartoons for our son. Uh, and so overall, it was just a really great experience traveling in the lifts and Ubers as well. So to wrap this video up, in conclusion, yeah, those first three groups that I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I think this product is gonna be excellent for you. 
So again, people that travel often by airplane and want an easy and simple car seat solution to take with them, spend the money and get the Wavy. I think it's fantastic. For those of you that just want a really sleek and compact car seat that's easy to move from car to car for your really tricked out wagon or tricked out car in general, this will save you a ton of space in your back seat. And three, for families like me that have a child that has either cognitive or physical disabilities, this is a great way to keep their experience the same as what they normally experience in your car at home while on an airplane, and you get those added benefits of being able to take it with you uh, to your destination. Now, one note, uh, and you will see this when you go to purchase it, and I think I mentioned it before, it is only forward facing. So if your child is too young, and can't be forward facing yet, or it doesn't have enough muscle to really sustain that for long periods of time, then this car seat isn't gonna be for you. Now, one additional note about the Pico. I haven't switched to using the Pico as my daily driving car seat for my son. So since Theo has some muscle weakness, and I guess he's almost three years old, we do still keep him rear facing a lot of the time for our daily commutes and things like that that are typically the more dangerous commutes. Um, just due to the fact that he's still small enough to be rear facing and that is the safer position to be in, so there's no reason not to. The other reason kind of in the back of my head is it is a much smaller seat. And when I compare it to the Brytax, it's just hard for me to imagine that this one truly is as safe in a car crash from all the things, meaning flying glass, uh, and any of the other things that could come with a car crash. Obviously, the Brytax has a lot more side coverage, um, just a lot more padding in general. Uh, and so since there's no crash test uh, kind of videos or reports, um, I have a little apprehension to switch to it full time. I'm sure I will eventually, and as our child's age, we were gonna need another car seat anyway, so it will become a part of the normal flow and daily driving tools, but we just haven't done it just yet. All right, so this is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I really hope you found some good information in it and maybe check out the Pico. Again, there's a link down below. If you like this video, please give it a like, consider subscribing to the channel, and finally comment down below if you have questions about our experience or if you just wanna tell me to make more stuff like this. Thanks a lot.